Hey, I'm Chris, this is Rachel, and we are living that adventure vibe. On this video, we are shopping for a new RV! I am so excited! This is, this is kind of the fun part of like this decision. Like it's been a lot of like trying to figure out if we're gonna go on the road full time or not go on the full road full time and like what the benefits of that have been. But now it's time. It is time. We're excited for it. Yeah. I can't I'm kind wait. of ready to get back on the adventure. As you can see, we're still in the sticks and bricks. Uh, we actually did some relocation and rented a place for a little while while we were figuring this all out. So coming to you today, still in that, but I'll tell you, the day we turn the keys in and hit the road again, oh, cannot wait. It's gonna so be ready. Awesome. And we have had, I feel like, so many different types of RVs in the past. We've tried them, life has changed. Uh, if you followed us before, we were on the road full time in 2019. We were in a 26 foot travel trailer. Since then, well, before then, we had a teardrop that we built. Yeah, we built that teardrop. That thing was amazing. Oh, after we got off the road full time, we've had a couple of other teardrops. We even had a Class C in the whole mix, so. It was a Jayco 29 MB. And it was like, we got it at the beginning of the pandemic, and it was supposed to be like our transition from full time to part time. That's what it was supposed to kind of be. Yep. Didn't work out. It didn't work out. So we've been through a lot of different RVs and now that we're decided to go back on the road full time, we kind of went back and forth. What is the right answer? So there's a couple of those that we have never had. So we've never had a fifth wheel and we've never had a class A. We've been in plenty of them. We're familiar with them, but we've never actually owned one. It's interesting because those are the exact types of RVs that we're considering um, for full time now. The ones that we haven't had, the fifth wheel and the toy hauler. And we have looked at all of them from the very small to the humongous ones. But we have a budget. We gotta stick within that budget. So the, the budget is key for us, but paired with that is how do we wanna travel? What is that travel life gonna look like? Um, I'm still working full time, Rachel works part time, so we want to adventure as much close to full time as we can, so we've got to balance that. What's in the budget and what fits the way that we want to travel? Uh, and we feel like we've made massive changes, mm -hmm. tons of learn since the last time we were out, and we want to do it so much better, so much differently. Yeah, if differently. you um, are new here, Hit subscribe so you don't miss the next couple of videos because they're going to be really interesting. But check out our video, I'll put it up in the cards and in the links below, um, about why we got off the road in 2019. So in this journey, we have looked at, again, everything. You heard Rachel say it. So we've looked at everything from 29 foot fifth wheels to 40 foot fifth wheel to toy haulers. Um, all the way up to diesel pushers, yeah. gas A's, uh, class A, gas class A's. We have looked at the full range. So after all of the looking and all of the floor plans and the searching, we have finally decided the right answer for us is a class A. So we've narrowed that part of it down, but there's still so many things to consider. So gas versus diesel, um, floor plans, manufacturers, all this. The number one thing that we want to do, and we talked about this a second ago, we want to stick to the budget. I think that also like, there's like this unicorn or like, we're gonna call it like a sweet spot of where one of the reasons that we went with a class A is because we wanted more space. The last time we were out, we were in a travel trailer. It was okay and we did well in the actual space, but we want more space. And so trying to, fi trying to find that sweet spot of more space, as much space as possible, but within this like sort of budget that we have planned out. So I think if we can kind of like figure that out, then that's gonna be key. Uh, budget is probably number one. We wanna, on the wish list, yeah, for sure. We wanna keep it comfortable. Yeah, like, that's almost not even a wish, it's a requirement. Yeah. So let's, let's, uh, let's number cover some two. of the wish list. What's yeah. the rest? So um, a pantry. We've looked at a lot of units and what I'm noticing is that some of the newer units have a pantry and some of the older units don't quite have a pantry. And I think that that's true for houses as well. Um, 
But for us, it's really important because we do almost all of our cooking in the RV. We don't eat out a ton, again, because we're plant-based. And so we don't, we like to cook at home. We like having our fresh ingredients and all of our things right there. And so making sure that we have enough space for all of our, not only our kitchen equipment, but like all of the food that we need is gonna be like a major wish on my part. Yep, Plus so we're up to number three uh, on the wish list. For me, uh, 10 years or newer. So a couple of reasons for that, but um, you know, a lot of it around Warranty. warranties, insurance prices, you know, getting stuff fixed, part availability, which is a challenge right now. But um, 10 years or newer, we are open to a little bit older unit, uh, but we really want to stick to that 10 years. So it's 2022, so 2012 or newer, the 23s just came out, so 2013 or newer time frame. Uh, would be fantastic. So 10 years or newer was our third wish list item. Our number four wish list item is opposing slides in the living space. Um, because we have a little mini doodle and he loves to have like room to like play um, and he doesn't, he's not gonna have a backyard. It's important for us to have a little bit more floor space and an open feel to the coach. But we wanna have opposing, that's a big wish list just makes the coach feel so much larger when you have those opposing slides. Yep. And wish list number five, also around our little guy, um, our Riley is kennel trained. So he's in his kennel a lot, he sleeps in there. He'll actually travel in there. That's his kind of his happy place in his, in his room, so. And as we do, we're gonna do some walkthrough videos through this and you'll see us kind of like talk about Riley's kennel space and that's really what that is about. We wanna, get, if we can modify it like a floor plan by modifying furniture, then we're willing to do that. Yeah. Um, or pull out a recliner or something like that in order to make room for his little space because he's part of our family, so he, he needs to have his own little space. Yep. Number six, are we on six? Let's go with that. Yep. We're on six. And that is a comfortable bathroom. Um, some of the coaches that we went into had really small bathrooms and Having, you know, everything from, you know, a small bathroom in our, in our travel trailer all the way to like a larger, a little bit larger bathroom in the Jayco. Um, having a larger bathroom, at least a little bit more floor space so that you can get out of the shower and dry off and like you're not feeling so cramped um, is kind of important. Some of, the, some of the coaches have a lot smaller bathrooms and some of them have really large bathrooms. I don't, I kind of put something in the middle, I think. Yeah, we had a we had a 22 foot for a little while, where the way it was laid out to get out of the shower and get dried off and get dressed, you stepped out of the bathroom, you were basically in the kitchen. Yeah. So um, it worked. We were weekending okay. part time, and we did a week in that one. So yeah. it worked for that, but it's not a full time. So no. we want a comfortable bath to be able to yeah. do our things. A shower. bath and a half would be cool, but not a requirement. Yep, for sure. Um, number seven. Number seven. We are not big television people, mm -hmm. but there are some weird placements. What is up with that? Of televisions in some of these coaches where it's like, how do you even watch that from a comfortable position? So I would love to find one that's got like the televator opposing, you know, yes. opposing the couch. If you haven't seen those, the televators, the TV that raises is up out of a counter. Oftentimes it's in front of a window, but the beauty is when you lower that, you get the window back. So if you're not watching all the time, um, similar to that kind of where those televisions are placed, some sort of a tech area, I'm gonna put up some sort of a mobile internet setup together. So having that in a space that makes sense, with the television that makes sense. So the tech part of this is a, is a key piece because yeah. you know, man, there's some weird, weird TV placements that yeah. I just don't get. And the very, very last um, thing on our wish list, which I don't think our wish list has been too bad. No, doable. Um, I think it's totally doable, is windows upon windows upon windows. One of the things that we noticed about um, checking out a lot of these class C, class A's is that there's not a lot of windows. When you go in like the fifth wheels, mm. they have tons and tons of windows and there's so much light coming in. 
But a lot of the class A's, obviously they're trying to maximize storage. So there's cabinets up above. So having as many windows as possible um, would bring in as much natural light as possible. And I think would just feel better and feel more open. Yep. So that is our wish list for what we are shopping for. Okay, so we know it's gonna be a class A. We've looked at a lot of different manufacturers and there's some great manufacturers out there. There's a lot of good options. We have settled, I think, on the Tiffin brand. Tiffin seems to be a good brand. We've heard good reviews, so. I'm gonna be showing you guys those walkthrough videos in the next, over the next week or two. Um, we'll just be dropping those here on our YouTube channel and just kind of pointing out the things that we like about them. If you guys own any of these floor plans, we would love to know your feedback on what you like about them, what you don't like about them. If you toured them, if what you liked or whether you decided to buy them or you didn't decide to buy them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and check out the floor plans that are on their way. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps us out to push our channel out there and lets people know to come on over and watch this crazy journey of ours. And also make sure that you subscribe because we will be revealing in the next few weeks what coach we decided to move forward with. Oh, the suspense, it's killing me. So <laughs> drop your comments below, tune in, more coming soon, and we can't wait to see you on the next one.